So then, the first round of the 2024 BTCC. I'm recording this literally right after the end of race three, and the results are already on the website. You can already go through and see how everything's going to stack up. And that's something that's awesome with series like the BTCC is that they do that. And more and more series are doing that now. I mean, F1, for example, has gotten better and better at it. The WRC was historically quite good at it as well, but it's brilliant to be able to follow this. And it's also nice to be able to then compare it against some of my 2024 predictions. This race was very nearly the race that never was. Or the race weekend was because of the flooding to the track. We only got the first cars out on track at midday. And they were doing some practice laps just to see how the track was. Because of it being absolutely waterlogged. We ended up getting the first race at what, half past one in the afternoon. Yet still we managed to get all three races of BTCC action in. It was an excellent watch. Even if the first one, you could argue, was a little bit underwhelming, especially compared to the fact that during this sort of intermission, they showed the race two from last season. A race that was so great, I mean, even Sir Lewis Hamilton was watching it and enjoyed it. It was brilliant with a kind of wet to dry antics, or dry to wet antics, I guess, is probably the better way of describing it. And the first race of the season, all wet, there was some action. There was a safety car right at the start uh, because of a poor Napa Ford being pelted into the tyre wall. Uh, what was it, 14 laps of safety car in the end? Luckily, the BTCC extends races, so it was 21 all in all, I think. But, yeah, it was a good start from the BMWs, especially Jake Hill. But Tom Ingram managed to hold on and get the win. And he managed to hold on and get the win in race 2 as well, though I think race 2 was a bit more intense and race 3 was the most intense of the three on the BTCC. We had Rob Huff on pole and he did quite well, albeit falling back down in the later phases of the race and then finishing 6th place. We managed to see the BMWs all in contention at various different points, all three that got the top 7 in race 3. And, I mean, in race two, they were all in the top seven. And in race one, oh, uh, Adamborg was down in 14th, but the other two got top fives. So, overall, it's been a good day for BMW. It's been a great day just to watch full stop. What it means coming out of this first round, it's Tingram from Sutton, from J. Hill, from Colin Turkington. 58-49-42-41. Aiden Moffat got a really good win in that final race. I think they said it was his fifth BTCC win. And it meant that we ended up seeing Toyota and Hyundai winning the three races today. So that means that my prediction that I made for a team sweeping the weekend. Or a constructor, uh, each constructor winning uh, a different race in a weekend. Those two haven't come through yet, though it did look a little bit like Tingram was going to sweep the weekend. He was charging through at the end of race three. And it shows that Hyundai is running really well. He was even able to set the fastest lap with a couple of points without even using the hybrid. He only had one lap of hybrid in that final race. But I think that those three are going to be our title contenders. The three coming back as returning champions. Tingram, Sutton and Turkington. And whether or not we're going to see somebody become a five times BTCC champion for the first time in history, we might do. We might even see Tingram winning another title, but uh, yeah, it's too early to tell. We've got a couple of weeks until the next round. But what we can tell is that it's going to be an exciting battle in all different championships. In the manufacturers, it's six points between the Alliance Racing Fords and the BMWs, and the Hyundais are. 15 points behind the BMWs. In the team's championship, it's 75 for Napa, 68 for LKQ Eurocar Pods with Synthetic. Uh, or Synthetic. Uh, Bristol Street Roads in third on 65, BMW in fourth on 62 with Laser Tools Racing, just with the one car for Jake Hill in fifth place. TGR have a lot to pick up in comparison. The Independence has gone the way of Andrew Taylor Smith so far with Mikey Doble picking up all of the wins over the course of the race, and PMR ahead of restart, ahead of uh, Duckham's race with Barter Card, which is the team hard entry. And the Jacks is, it's Doval who's currently heading that up from Halstead. And then, um, yeah, I think that's it to go off of for now. I've really enjoyed watching that first round of the BTCC. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. 
And especially if you ended up watching it on TikTok, I know they had a little bit of an infuse it. Tom Gray was naming the guy, and they had him as influencer to show that kind of tie-in with TikTok. I hope that we start to see more and more people showing up at the races and more and more embedding of that. I know it's probably a bit boring for some people, but it shows that the sport will continue to grow. Thanks for watching. See you around. Bye for now.